dot convention in coupled coils to determine the relative polarity of induced voltage in a coupled coil the coils are marked with dots this series connected coupled coils l1 l2 on each coil a dot is placed at the terminal which are instantaneously of the same polarity on the basis of mutual inductance alone the current flows when the currents through each of the mutually coupled coil are going away from the dot or towards the dot here you can see the currents are going towards the dot in each case the mutual inductance m is positive towards the dot here going away from the dots in this both the cases the mutual inductance m is taken as a positive whereas when the current through the coil is leaving the dot of one coil and entering the other the mutual inductance is taken as negative you can observe here entering here leaving the current i then in this case the mutual inductance is negative this is in case of a series coupled coils the dot convention of few possibilities of mutually coupled transformer coils are shown here in the first one the current i1 is entering i2 is also entering so both are going from the dots so the mutual inductance m is positive here i1 entering i2 also entering the mutual inductance m is positive here i1 entering from the dot i2 is leaving from the dot so mutual inductance is negative here i1 entering i2 leaving the mutual inductance is negative actually both are same configurations in this case i1 entering i2 leaving then the mutual inductance m is a negative this is regarding the dot convention in coupled coils if you like this video please like share and subscribe find the total inductance of the series connected coupled coil in the above circuit where the values are given then for coil 1 l1 is the self inductance there is a mutually coupling between l1 and l2 with m12 and here the current is entering into l1 here current is entering into l2 both are entering so plus m12 and l1 and l3 are also mutually coupled with m13 whereas in coil 1 the current is entering whereas in coil 3 current is leaving so minus m13 now substitute these values l1 is 1 henry plus m12 is 5 henrys and minus m13 is 1 henry so minus 1 henry which equals to 0.5 henry for coil 2 l2 is the self inductance here also l2 is connected to l1 as well as l3 mutually so first we'll consider these two then l2 current is entering l1 current is entering so plus m12 whereas l2 and l3 here the current is entering here the current is leaving so the mutual inductance will be negative m23 now substitute the values L2 is 2 Henrys plus M12 is 0.5 minus M23 is 1 Henry, which equals to 1.5 Henry. Now for coil 3, coil 3 also connected to L1 and L2. Now there is mutual coupling between L1 and L2. Self inductance of the coil 3 is L3, and here it is leaving, and here it is entering. So minus M13, and here also one is leaving, one is entering. So M23. Now substitute these values. L3 is 5 minus M13 is 1 minus M23 is 1. This is 3 and this. Now total inductance is given by the individual inductances of each coil. Now you can add 0.5 plus 1.5 plus 3. That equals to 5 and this.